Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be talking about how you're able to reconnect, repair, reset, or even add a additional S Pen to your Galaxy S22 Ultra, or really any other Samsung Galaxy Note out there. Now this was a question that was asked to me today, and I wanted to recover it. I've talked about it in the past, but there's a lot of new viewership and a lot more subscribers here now than the last time I shot this video, and I wanted to share it with you. So all you'd have to do is, let's say that you wanted to go around and play with your phone, and yes, right now, this does have the normal impact. It has the ability to hover over the screen, hit the S Pen button. So there's a lot of stuff you're still able to do, but you're not able to do the Bluetooth functions that allows you to do all of air actions. And you might see a little icon on the top that maybe shows a little S Pen icon that it has been disconnected, or maybe you go inside of your settings, you scroll down, you head inside of your advanced features, you go inside of S Pen, and then inside of Air Actions, it says disconnected. So those are the steps that you wanna to take to go through and hit into this menu to actually add in and reset and all that good stuff. So maybe you lost the S Pen or it's just not reconnecting. Again, those steps is settings, scroll down to your advanced features. Then inside of advanced features, you go inside of S Pen, you go to Air Actions because really you only need that Bluetooth connectivity for all of the Air Actions. All the rest of the stuff that the S Pen is able to do, it's always been there from the past. But up here on the top right hand side, those three little dots, this is where you have the option for Reset S Pen. So right now, if the S Pen has been disconnected, you see the icon sitting right there. It is not connected anymore. You can't do any of the Air Actions. Maybe you don't even use the Air Actions, but you just seeing that little icon is annoying. So all you'd have to do is simply put your S Pen back in the device. It's going to repair up and you are done. So this is a way that you're able to reconnect it to the phone or if you get a brand new S Pen sent to you, this is all you'd have to do. Go to Reset S Pen, and then you place the S Pen inside, and then you are finished. Now that the S Pen is connected, maybe you wanted to go through and use another S Pen. So maybe you have one that's at the office. It looks just like a normal pencil out there. This is the Stedler Digital S Pen. I mean, this is one that I've been having for so many years. It's been talked about on this channel uh, for a very long time. But if you wanted to have a secondary one that's kind of laying around so you don't accidentally lose this S Pen inside, or you know you don't want to leave it somewhere, whatever the case, all you'd have to do is just go right inside of your settings, go back inside of that advanced features. Once you go inside of advanced features, go into that S Pen, and then right here it says allow multiple S Pens. Now it will take up a little bit more battery though, so you can use other S Pens while your S Pen is inside of your phone. This may drain your battery, so if you did want to use you know, a secondary S Pen, here you go, you now have all of the capabilities. This one right here does not have the button on there, so there's a lot of stuff that I can't do just because the S Pen button is not there, but I can open up, you know, it does all of the, the hovering with you uh, hovering the S Pen over all the different icons, things like that. So there's a bunch of things that you can do with this S Pen. You can write, draw, you can tap things. There's a few games I like to play with an S Pen. One of those is actually inside of Game Launcher here, and it's Zen Idol. Zen Idol is one that I always play. It's really fun with the S Pen, uh, but basically that was pretty much everything I wanted to show off with this video is how you're able to reset, repair, reconnect that S Pen, or if you get a brand new one, also how you're able to use a secondary one if you wanted to. It's one of those things that you can turn on right away when you first get to the office if you don't want to you know, have all of this, this battery drain for all of the day and you're back home and you don't really have the S Pen with you. Uh, but that's pretty much everything for this video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you did, please, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you appreciated this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.